Pastor Grump is not abused. Citizen Rock, part two. Let's take a look. Citizen Rock, Rock versus Drug Kill. Citizen Rock, part two. Let's take a look. Oh, your first news conference. Yeah, we're gonna okay, kick okay. this campaign off right. Okay, right. Uh, uh, Joy, Joy, Joy. Yeah, look, um, there's gonna be a, you know a lot of photographers here, you know. So I want to make sure you know my first campaign pictures look right. So um, so how's my smile? <laughs> That's your, they've taken me hostage and they're making me do this smile. Come on, try it again. <laughs> okay, now you look like a jack-o'-lantern, man. Oh, man, this, 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 is, this is stupid. This is stupid. Joey, excuse me for a second. I think I know how to put a beautiful smile on Please. Rock's face. Huh? <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's it. That's it. it. Yeah, you think you can remember what she oh, said? I, I ain't gonna forget that. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> All right, look, now that you got your smile down, right, now we need to work on these political hand gestures, okay? okay? Now, there are three basic gestures that every politician needs to know, okay? The first one is the George Bush chop, just like this. When you're talking, make a point like this. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the Jesse Jackson steeple, right? You're talking just like this, right? And the third one is the Bill Clinton, that flipping burgers thing that he does when he's talking. All right, you execute those right, man. You can you can inspire millions of people. You can invade Iraq, and you can eat all the free McDonald's you want. Joy, Joy, look, 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 look. So will you just come off the superficial showbiz stuff, right? I want to run a campaign with substance, you know what I mean? And, and, and I wish you would start taking that seriously. I do, right? I can take it as serious as you, but if you want to win this don't campaign... Do, if you wanna, come listen. on, now it's no time to fight. It's 1 o'clock. we got to start the news conference. Yeah, but all the other reporters on here, shouldn't we wait till the rest of them get here? Trust me, we're it. Okay, fine. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play on the sympathy from the from the press by having your wife introduce you. What? Yeah, yeah, it, it just hit me. It'll, it'll add a sense of family, it'll yeah. add a sense of warmth. I mean, after all, you were the one that said he should run for the campaign anyway. Come on, sis, come on, just say a few words. Just a few words. Just introduce him. I would like to introduce my husband, Rock Emerson, who is announcing his candidacy for the 11th Council District today. I was the one who first suggested Daddy run. And I'd like to tell you why. He's loving, he's caring, he's honest, he's responsible, he's hardworking, and he's a wonderful father. And when he sets his mind to something, he doesn't quit until he reaches his goal. Like this one time, Rock got upset because the paper boy kept throwing our paper in the gutter and it would get all dirty and, 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 and nasty and messy. And so Rock talked to the paper boy and told him to stop doing it, but the boy wouldn't stop doing it. So Rock went and complained to the newspaper and they fired that little boy. But Rock felt so bad, he asked the newspaper to give him his job back, only put him on a different route. Uh, now I thought, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that my husband can solve problems and still be compassionate because he cared about that little boy. And he didn't want that little paper boy to lose his job. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Rock Emerson. <laughs> Oh, Hillary gets a little carried away. <laughs> well, hello. Um, I'm uh, announcing my candidacy for um, city council of this district. I'm running because um, I think, you know, some things in this neighborhood should be changed. Um, well, uh, n number one, uh, we've got to stop crime. And uh, number two, We've got to uh, stop the flow of drugs, you know, in this neighborhood. And uh, number three, uh, we've got to... Excuse me, please. Uh, Rock, look. I don't want to say that this is boring, man, but I think I just saw one of the reporters take out a Game Boy. Come on, right there. Joey, Joey, I'm sticking with the issues. All right, all right. Uh, number three, you know, we should uh, in encourage uh, local businesses to return to this area to, you know, to provide uh, employ... Uh, uh, sir, you wanna, um, put that Game Boy away? <laughs> uh, Joey, 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 I, I think I'm losing him. What should I do? Rock, you gotta be more personal in your approach. Listen, why don't you tell him how you felt when Sheila's friend got killed in that drive-by? Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Before I, um, tell you about my platform, I'd like to talk to you gotta about be real. Gotta why be real. I'm running. Gotta be real. A couple of weeks ago, 
12-year-old boy was gunned down in cold blood on my front steps. Terrence oh. Lambert. Terrence had a gun. And Terrence was a bright kid. Terrence got a gun. We said. He was a good student. He came from a good family. Terrence was killed by a gang member, another kid, over a jacket. Yeah, that. Now, Terrence yeah, that. was not the first boy to die in our neighborhood, and the tragedy is he won't be the last. Because these dealers and these gangs are either shooting each other or killing themselves with drugs. Now, we can't wait for someone else to fix this. We've got to fix it ourselves. Yes. That's why I'm here. I want to ask you if you would help me to make this neighborhood a place where we can raise our children. Yes. Yes. Mr. Emerson, yes. Mr. Boyd is a seasoned politician. You, on the other hand, are a novice. Now, do you really think you can do a better job in office than he can? Than, than Mr. Ray Boyd? <laughs> yeah, I can do a better job than nothing. Hell yes! <laughs> you know, and I've got a detailed 10-point program I'd like to tell you about right now. Uh, Number one, we're gonna... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we, got, we have right now. Mr. Emerson has a very full slate of appearances. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we're, we're, that's all we can do today. Thank you very much. Joy. Why'd you do that? Rock, never get into specifics with these press people. You give them specifics, they'll use them against you and pick you apart. What are you right talking about? about, right about that. Reagan right and about Bush that. both stayed so right vague it took people 12 years to figure out what the hell they were talking about. By then, it was too late. Michael Dukakis, on the other hand, was very specific. Need I say more? Mm, he's got a point there, Rob. OK, OK, but if you would just stop, you know, focusing on this, you know, this, this image thing. All right, all right, Rock. I'll, I'll stop focusing on the superficial aspects of your campaign and focus on the substance of the campaign. Well, finally, thank you. Uh, just one more thing, okay? Look, when you finish your speech and the crowd starts to applaud, uh -huh. don't do that little that little happy kick, all right? Well, Joy, that, that's not my happy kick. I'll show you my happy kick. Turn around. Make a little talk here. Uh, ladies, 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 listen. Um, this is a political campaign we're running, okay? Don't so we gotta use our assets, all right? And now, if there's a guy on the line and he wants to give less okay. than $10, give him the sexiest voice you got, ask him for 10 more. And if it's a woman, I'll take the call, all right? <laughs> you doing it. You look good. All right. What's going on here? Got a campaign uh, turn the place in kind of a, a political box. headquarters, you know? It's kind of like a campaign war room now. A war room, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you sent all the men to the front lines. <laughs> I got it, I got it. No, no, keep doing what y'all doing. I got it. Fellas, just in time. Please, come in, come in. Damn, Joey. I was wondering why there wasn't nothing but ugly women in town. You got all the pretty women in here. Oh, do I? I didn't even notice. To me, they're just dedicated Clay. Clay. volunteers. I see. You're mm -hmm. using your position as campaign manager to surround yourself with other beautiful women, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Thank so you. who am I working with? That's Make right. sure she's not too tall. <laughs> Carlos is not too tall. Y'all gonna be handing out flyers. Here you go. What? Yes, a match made in heaven. Joey, man, come on. Hold on, man. Carlos, man, Carlos. Match made in heaven. Joey, I got a bad name. Yeah, I know you got a bad name. All right. If we can get these pamphlets all over the senior citizens' home, I think we can get Rock a lot of support. Now, he's our kind of candidate. He believes in the family strength and old-fashioned morality. See, unlike Senator Bob Packwood, you could read Rock's diary aloud to the grandchildren. <laughs> all right, ladies, here's the game plan. Wherever you see a Boyd for Council poster, all right, I want you to either paste one of Rock's posters over it, or I want you to draw a funny mustache on Ray Boyd. <laughs> Graffiti, is it? Now, I'm no tagger. I don't want to deface the neighborhood. No, no, it's not graffiti, Sheila. This is democracy. Come on, let's draw mustaches for democracy. There you go. <laughs> so, can we count on your vote, Miss Taylor? Great, great. You know, you have a wonderful voice. Would you mind answering a few questions for our survey? Would you support a ban on handguns? Very good, very good. Next question. What you doing Friday night? for your support. Thank you. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> this is a political campaign, not Sly's party line. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> so, 
How did it go with the Latinos voters committee? <laughs> well, <laughs> terrific, man. They threw a lot of tough questions at him, but he was right there with all the answers. I think we got an awful lot of votes because at the end they were all shouting, Adelante Rock, Adelante Rock. Yeah, I mean, it really went well, you know. But all that talking, I've worked up an appetite, so I'm gonna go make me a sandwich. Hey, 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 don't eat anything too fat in there. Say, I want you to keep your weight down for this campaign. I don't want you to outgrow that size 48 suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lincoln, my sister. Oh, yes. Is this the campaign to elect Yes, it is. My name is Malik Rachman. We're here with the Nation that's of Islam. We're watching your campaign, and we like what you're saying. We want to get involved. Oh, well, that's wonderful. We certainly could use your help. Do you have any campaign literature we could distribute? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Thank you, Joey. Now, uh, let me ask you. How would you feel about having Rock address a meeting at your temple? It's a fine idea, sister. I'll uh, get back to you with some dates. Oh, thank you. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, that's good news. Did you hear that? Rock! Rock! Yeah. A representative from the Nation of Islam was just here. They want to support you. They want to pass out literature. And they want you to come speak at their temple. Well, that's great. Hey, this campaign's really starting to take off. Yeah. It sure is. I just got off the phone with the Baltimore Sun. Uh, this past week, your ratings in the polls have gone up from 8% to 21%. Oh, oh, right. You're doing so good, son, no one else wants to enter the race. It's just you and Ray Boyd. Well, if it's just between me and Ray Boyd, I'm on a kick Ray Boyd's do nothing but. That's right, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> sure is good to hear Rock say that about somebody else for a change. Excuse me, Mr. Emerson. This man wants to help with your campaign. He says he knows my oh. father. I well, He knows your I'm father. You came in the Sheila. Oh, Andre Thompson, what the hell are you doing here? Well, trash man. The last time you saw me, something bad happened to me. I haven't forgotten that. I haven't forgotten it either. Look, you're not welcome here. This is your campaign headquarters, right? Then it's open to the public. Well, it's not open to you or your buddies. Yeah. So get out. Well, I'm here to deliver a message. You've been making a lot of noise with this campaign thing, and it's bad for my business. Well, that's the idea, Andre. We want you and all your buddy drug dealers to get out of this neighborhood. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm not going anywhere. Mm. So I suggest you stop this little sideshow of yours and go back to collecting garbage. Better get out of the race. Trash man. Hey, you take us out. Have you deep shot? Have you deep shot? First time we've seen Andre for 30 shots. Rockin' the truck, dude.